Now back to the present and the future. Here's Lisa Barrow with all the latest motor news. Mercedes-Benz makes news this week with the introduction of its long-awaited SLK Roadster at Italy's Turin Auto Show. Formula One driver Mika Hakkinen drove the SLK into a mob of international press, many of whom saw the original SLK concept introduced in Turin just two years ago. The name SLK comes from the German words for sporty, light, and short. By measuring just over 13 feet long and weighing under 3,000 pounds, those adjectives certainly fit especially considering the SLK's fully automatic retractable hardtop. European buyers will have a choice of two engines and manual or automatic transmissions. All U.S.-bound cars get a supercharged 191-horsepower engine mated only to a five-speed automatic. Mercedes says that powertrain should be good for low 7-second 0 to 60 times. Look for prices around $40,000 when SLK Roadsters arrive at Mercedes-Benz showrooms here in the U.S. early in 1997. Quality also makes news this week as J.D. Power & Associates released its 1996 initial quality study, the industry benchmark survey on new car problems during the first 90 days of ownership. Leading the compact car segment for the first time was the Subaru Impreza. In the entry midsize group, cars costing under $20,000, Nissan's Altima beat out Honda's Accord. Among premium midsize cars, those listing for over $20,000, Oldsmobile's 88 bested both the Toyota Camry and Nissan Maxima. Lexus led two categories, entry luxury with the ES300 and premium luxury with the SC300 and SC400. Among popular people movers, Toyota's Previa minivan headed the compact van segment, while the Ford Explorer finished first in the compact sport utility vehicle category. The good news for all car buyers is that the industry average is an even one problem per car, an elite standard that used to be met by only the best in the industry. And that's it for this week's Motor News.